On this week's episode, I'm going to talk with you about being too picky with your job search. I will also give you this week's job leads. It is the week of May 5th through the 9th, and this is the QC Step Podcast. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of the QC Step Podcast. I'm Corey Finneran, and I know a lot of you seniors will be wrapping up the school year here in the next few weeks, and next week will be the last podcast episode for the 2013-2014 school year. You can still access our website over the summer. There won't be any new podcast episodes going up, but you will be able to go back and look at previous episodes that we've done. And there are over 60 episodes on our website, so that's over 60 employment topics. So if you're filling out applications over the summer or you're needing information or advice on certain employment topics, you can still contact Don or Cindy at our office, but you can also look through our episodes and through our website to see if there's any episodes that cover the topic that you're interested in. And before I leave for the summer, I'm going to set up a page on our website that has all of our episodes listed, the different topics that were covered in those episodes, and then links to the episodes so you can easily find them and get to them. And that will be at qcstep.com list. And it's not up yet, but it will be in the next few weeks. If you go to our website, qcstep.com, you will find the uh, audio and video versions of our podcast episodes. The audio version is also available for free in Stitcher and on Stitcher, or on, in iTunes or on Stitcher Smart Radio. The video version is also available on YouTube and the closed captioning is provided by YouTube services. You can connect with QC Step on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to qcstep.com slash Facebook, and we are at QC Step on Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. And if you are working or you would like to work and you want to know how income from your employment will affect your Social Security benefits, the Adult Doors Office in Rock Island is hosting a seminar to answer your questions. And so teachers, you might want to make Uh, parents aware of this event too. And it's on Thursday, June 5th, and there are two time slots that are available from 10 a.m. to noon or from 1.30 in the afternoon till 3.30. And you need to register for this event because seating is limited for it. And you can do that by calling 217-836-7213 or you can email wpartridge at iltech.org. That's W-P-A-R-T-R-I-D-G-E at iltech.org. And if you need a sign language interpreter for this event, be sure to contact them before May 26th. But as I said, space is limited for these sessions, so be sure to RSVP soon. And uh, again, this would be a good event to go to if you would like to know how your income will impact your Social Security benefits. On today's episode, I wanted to talk with you about being too picky with your job search. A few days ago, I tweeted out and I shared an article on our Facebook page, um, and it kind of got me thinking about this topic. And many of you probably know who Mike Rowe is, and if you don't, he has the TV show Dirty Jobs, and he's in a lot of commercials too. And Mike got an email asking him for career advice. So here is that email. I've spent this last year trying to figure out the right career for myself and I still can't figure out what to do. I have always been a hands-on kind of guy and a go-getter. I could never be an office worker. I need change, excitement, and adventure in my life. But where the pay is steady. I grew up in construction and my first job was a restoration project. I love everything outdoors. I play music for extra money, I like trying pretty much everything, but get bored very easily. I want a career that will always keep me happy, but can allow me to have a family and get some time to travel. I figure if anyone knows jobs, it's you. I was wondering your thoughts on this if you ever get the time. So here's Mike Rowe's response. Consider your own words. You don't want a career, you want the right career. You need excitement and adventure, but not at the expense of stability. 
You want lots of change, the freedom to travel, but you need the certainty of steady, steady pay. You talk about being easily bored as though boredom is out of your control. It isn't. Boredom is a choice, like tardiness or interrupting. It's one thing to love the outdoors, but you take it a step further. You vow to never take an office job. You talk about the needs of your family, even though that family doesn't exist. And finally, you say that the career you describe must always make you happy. Stop looking for the right career and start looking for a job. Any job. Forget about what you like. Focus on what's available. Get yourself hired. Show up early, stay late, volunteer for the scout work. Become indispensable. You can always quit later and be no worse off than you are today. But don't waste another year looking for a career that doesn't exist. And most of all, stop worrying about your happiness. Happiness does not come from a job. It comes from knowing what you truly value and behaving in a way that's consistent with those beliefs. What you do, who you're with, and how you feel about the world around you is completely up to you. I thought this was a great response. When we're in the schools and we're talking with you, uh, many of you are open to any type of entry-level employment. Sometimes we hear, I'll work anywhere but fast food. And my answer to that is, many of your teachers, your parents, and in general, just many of the people around you, myself included, started in fast food. Why are you too good to start in fast food? Just because you work in fast food when you're 16 or 17 or 18, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be in fast food forever. As I stated, my first job was in fast food. And you wanna know what I learned there? I learned that my productivity affected others around me. I learned the teamwork that's necessary in that type of job. Another thing that I learned, I learned how to turn in a two weeks notice. Even after I was hired, I continued turning in applications and after a short period of time, I think it was just a couple of weeks, I had been offered a different job that I would rather have. At the age of 16, I had years of experience with my family's business, and I could have easily said, I'm not working fast food, but I wanted a car, and I wanted to spend my own money on the things that I wanted, and I took that first job that was offered to me. We also hear students say that they want to work at, say, um, a video game store. Well, there just aren't that many video game stores around here, and they don't hire that many people. The same thing can be said for those of you that say, I want to work with animals. There aren't that many jobs around here that involve working with animals. And there are lots more people that want to work with video games or with animals than there are available positions. And so you can't have your dream part-time job. To summarize what Mike Rose said, don't be picky, take whatever job you can get. I do have some job leads to share with you this week. Farm and Fleet is hiring part-time workers and you can apply in person. Coca-Cola is hiring order builders and you need uh, your high school diploma for that position. Village Inn and uh, Moline by the Jewel on the border of Moline and Rock Island, they're hiring dishwashers. Pizza Hut in Moline, they're hiring team members. Um, and the UPS in Rock Island, they're hiring dock workers. And for all of the leads that I gave you right now, except for Farm and Fleet, you can find the online applications on our site on the blog post for this episode. And as always, there are lots of other businesses that are hiring. Just because I didn't list a business doesn't mean that they are not hiring. Uh, there are still some businesses that are probably hiring summer seasonal workers and fast food businesses hire a lot this time of year. So like I said earlier, don't be picky. Do a good job of filling out the applications, turn them in, and take whatever job you can get. So 
Well, that does it for this week's episode. And like I said at the beginning, next week will be the last episode of the podcast um, that I'm going to do this year. And I'm going to talk with you about how you can use QCstep.com and the STEP program over the summer. Thank you for watching and listening. And I will be back next week with another episode of the QC Step Podcast.